so why don't you tell me, let me, let me get on the side of you here. What's going on? So we received a call from a truck driver. This gentleman gives us tips, various tips. He's all over Detroit. So he sees dogs that he feels like need, need to be checked on. So he called me and he said, you know, he wanted me just to come over here and do a wellness check on this dog. The dog has no shelter. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while. Around the world, wherever there are dogs, there are dogs in peril. Wherever there are dogs in peril, there are always dog saviors. Follow World Animal Awareness Society cameras as we uncover heroic scenes from around the world. People who can no longer stand by watching and doing nothing as innocent creatures suffer. This is The Dog Saviors. Got you, Mom. Got you. Um, and so I said I would. So we're out here right now checking this poor boy. And he does look like he's in pretty good shape. Other, other than he has no shelter. So the law here in Detroit does require that dogs that stay outside 24-7 have shelter. Um, and so what we'll do, we're taking a look at him and we see that he's not in bad shape, but we'll make, try to make contact with the owner, the homeowner here, and just ask him, you know, if they need some assistance or, you know, why, why is the dog um, out here with no shelter? Perhaps they only put him out, you know, to go potty. We're not sure. So that's why we like to ask and find out. Hey, bud. That's actually the nephew of the owner of this house. He just explained to us that the dog actually does go uh, up into this porch area at night. He doesn't stay outside all the time. You know, he just gets put back here, I guess, for a minute to go potty and then he gets brought back in. But we're still gonna make contact with the owner and just tell him, you know, if the dog stays out here for any extended period of time, you need to have a dog's proper shelter, you know, and things um, for the dog. And we'll offer him some assistance. If he wants to have the dog neutered, we'll pay to have the dog neutered and just, you know, try to educate him a little bit. Yeah. And, and the reason why the truck driver called us yesterday is because he saw a chihuahua running through the streets that had a leash, dragging a leash, and so um, he was following the chihuahua who got away from him, and then he came across this dog. So we, we'll be out looking, this happens often, we'll be out looking for one dog or one situation, and then somebody calls us and, you know, oh, there's another dog over here. So, so our leads follow us in all different directions. You know, that's how we come across a lot of dogs here in Detroit. Thank you. This is like <laughs> a new star. New. I don't know yet. So what's the story? You're not on the talk. Um, I saw these puppies outside his fence one day in this driveway when I was driving down the road. And so I got a hold of him and asked him if he needed help with them or anything like that. And he had to have two left that he needed to find homes for. So I contacted Teresa. Because right. they need good homes. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, I don't. Let's see that guy. <laughs> Any name ideas? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to actually keep him. He's the bigger of the two, I think. Yep. But you switched your mind? Well, my kid did. Oh. He's, <laughs> he's how many kid. total were there? Oh, hi. Eight. Hi. She's full, -blood, full blooded German Shepherd, and, you know, the dad looked like this, kind of like Brindley. <laughs> So, I just assumed the box They got huge paid. feet, though. Yeah, they right. They might even been part mastiff. Look at the size of those feet. Holy oh. God. Hi. Aren't they, they adorable? Feet, baby. They are awesome. Oh. He is. He's I a great you. dog. 
I love you. And I love you. So yeah, they'll get good homes. Oh yeah. Their feet are good. They're gonna be. I love you. Oh, they're shot stuff. I love you. The fairies all sink into the puppies. Yeah. You know, so yeah, them. we gotta get your your female yeah, fixed. Yes, you wanna come hang out at my house? Yes. I love you. He's like, get off me. <laughs> Will you stop? What get do out you of my think? Phone. You want to so be on film? Else, oh, yeah. okay. it's it's so adorable. Out. So you got this with the other folks? They're all good. They're all good. They're all good. Okay. Uh, cool, let's take a ride, shall we? Should we take a ride? That's, that's Big, big boy, aren't you? Yes. Turn the car on, it's hot. We're right here. Oh, come on, my arm is broken. Oh, come on. You're fine. They're cute, aren't they? They're gonna be big. That one's gonna be huge. Huge. What do you think Dad was? Mom is yeah. pure shepherd. I don't know what Dad is, but... Oh, jeez. I'm trying not to be in the way, but she won't take the thing off. Yeah, here's your friend. Okay. Thank you. Take um, in the, um, yeah, first round of shots and deworm, I guess, we got the records, shot records, so we'll get them a boy to tell them. And, um, come and back this way. Ariel or Sarah? Ariel or Sarah? Yep. Can I put it in the cooker? We're going to spray these little babies. Here you go. And you know what? We'll put them both together. Yeah. Because I think that they'll do really well. We'll wash you guys up. Yeah. Who's this? We're going to wash you guys up after. You want front line? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at you. And we'll wash them up after they. Probably from the dry. Or, or sentinel. We have a sentinel that will fit them. Okay. We're going to spray them with the front line spray just in case you have any live fleas. Who's that? Who's that? Courage. This is our sweet boy, Courage. He's doing so much better. To us, very, very beat up. Can, can, you, can you sing along? He's, beat, he's got a good bass beat going on. Mm -hmm. Hey boy, you got your green tubes out. Hey, You're looking baby. so much better. How old is uh, anyone think Courage is? I think at four months old. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Cost is maybe about four months old. Five, she was saying five. when they were looking at you. Oh, his eye looks so much better. Hello. Hello. Hi, boy. Oh, Can look I at you. You're so alive. You sweet boy. I gotta take a picture of you. Oh, 
take your picture. How you doing? I love He's you. He's like, I gotta get my blanket on. <laughs> That dog is looking so, so much better than when you picked yeah. it up. Oh, yeah. Definitely. A world of difference. I actually didn't know if we would be able to save them. And, and obviously, the so line is amazing. They come through for us. Hi. We'll come back and see with an owner who and tried to bang her, her and they were going to press cruelty charges against this person um, uh, and the officers said you know she's not to go back to the owner so she'll be going to one of the transfer out partners once she's completely better. So. Okay so what's your feeling about what you just saw with Courage? I think he looks wonderful. He looks awesome and, I went, and we're, we just found out that he will not have to have surgery on his jaw. The jaw is healing on its own. It is fractured, but it's healing on its own, and it's um, going to be fine. I guess we won't have to have surgery. We had anticipated having to pay for a surgery that now we don't have to pay for. You really didn't think he might not make it? No, I, I didn't actually think he would live. Now, when we picked him up, he was he was lethargic. He was in shock. I really did not believe that he would live. So I, I'm amazed that he did. Cool. These dogs are very resilient. So Sherry actually thought the meeting was next Thursday. Which we can do this one. We can totally But it's kind of good that. because we have a lot of dogs here now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dad, I hear you're recording for the World Awareness Society. What is that? Yeah, you mean World Animal Awareness Society? Well, I'm a volunteer with World Animal Awareness Society, Emerson. I volunteer my voice for use in animal rescue videos. And I don't know if you know this, but 
everyone at the World Animal Awareness Society is a volunteer. But what do they do? They're award-winning volunteer filmmakers who have interacted with 2,200 animal welfare nonprofits, including Maddie's Fund and Austin Pets Alive, providing information-rich content to more than 45 countries in the last 10 years. Dad, what does that mean? Okay, Em, how about this? They make short movies about animals that are in peril, that are hurting, you know, in bad shape or dying or homeless in the streets. They film rescuers doing heroic work so they can focus on saving lives. The World Animal Awareness Society posts the rescue videos on social media, and then they're broadcast on TV, sharing the heroic stories with people all over the world so they can understand what's really going on. Cool, I like animals. How did you start volunteering? Well, I met their director through social media and saw the work that they were doing and knew that I could help their cause. So I asked if I could volunteer. I am very fortunate to have really great jobs providing the voice to so many shows that I believe it's important to give back. Since I've been volunteering with the World Animal Awareness Society, they have created the seventh most influential YouTube channel for dog rescue lovers in the world, WA2S Films. That's so cool. Hey dad, nice job. Do you think I could volunteer too? You already are, Em. You already are. You're watching the World Animal Awareness Society. Yep, that'll do, Emerson. That'll do. You're watching the World Animal Awareness Society. <laughs>